Hi Bold Bakers. One of the biggest queries on Bigger Bolder Baking is whipping cream. In a lot of countries out there, you don't have cream that whips up well. So the second best thing I can do for you if you don't have cream that whips up is to make a substitute cream out of milk. And it actually was inspired by another YouTuber called The Simple Cooking Channel. He did it and he had great success. So I'm gonna show you how to make it also. In a small bowl, I'm gonna add in some milk. So for this recipe, if you're vegan or dairy-free, feel free to use any kind of a dairy-free milk. It actually will work really well too. To the milk, I'm going to scatter over it some powdered gelatin and then stir it in well with a fork. Now you can also use agar agar, which is a vegetarian version, and that will work really well too. Same amount, same everything, but just make sure that the agar agar is powdered. So you just want to let this mix sit on the counter for around five to 10 minutes and you'll notice it forms a sponge and then we'll come back to it. After five minutes or so, your gelatin should look like this, nice and firm and spongy. So now our next step is to pop this into the microwave or you can do it over a bain-marie and you just want to gently melt this jelly until it's liquid. So after just 30 seconds, our gelatin mix is nice and melted. It is liquidy, there's no gelatin lumps or bumps. This is what we're looking for. So we are gonna set this aside, let it cool down for a minute and we're gonna get started on our next step. Into a large bowl, we're going to add in some cold, full fat milk. Now remember, you can also do this with any dairy-free milk as well. So our gelatin mix has cooled down a little bit, so I'm gonna pour that in there and just give it a whisk around. So liquid whips up so much better when it's cold, so we're gonna pop this in the fridge just for five minutes or so to take the chill off it, and then we can whip it. Our cream mix has been in the fridge for five minutes or so. You can see it's starting to thicken up. So this is the part where we turn it into whipped cream. Now to give it a little bit more flavor, because right now all it tastes like is kind of set milk, we're going to add in a little bit of icing sugar. You can also add in vanilla extract if you like, but that's up to you. So now using an electric mixer, or you can also do it by hand, you're just gonna need a lot of elbow grease. We are going to beat it up until it's nice and thick. As you can see already, it's starting to thicken up and the volume is getting bigger. You can see the whipped cream changing, so keep on whipping until it gets nice and thick. It does take a few minutes. So this whipped cream recipe is for the people who can't buy whipping cream in their country. This is a good substitute for that. Also, just a reminder that this can be used as serving whipped cream, it can be used in mousses or any of my cheesecakes, but it can't be used in my ice cream recipe. It has grown around three times the size, and as you can see, it has that lovely texture just like whipped cream. This is what we're looking for. So you want to store this whipped cream in your fridge and it will live happily in there for up to two days. Because of the gelatin, if it does set, then just mix it back up together again to make it light and fluffy. A lot of you already know that I have lots more bold baking basics just like this one that will change the way you bake in the kitchen, so make sure you check them out.